I just looked over and there's a grizzly just sitting there up on the hillside on the ravine on the other side. I just wanted to verify it's a grizzly, but you can yeah. see the hump. You see the hump on the shoulder? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. He's looking right at me. We didn't build those hammock things high enough. We didn't build our platforms high enough for this guy. <laughs> Finally get to see my grizzly bear. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rockies. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2, Canadian Rockies, has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. It's rainy, wet, I'm dry. I'm getting kind of used to it. I, uh, the thunder and lightning bit was all there. <laughs> About half an hour long. It's still really early. It's probably like four in the morning right now. It gets light here pretty quick. Maybe five. I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit. No point rushing out there. Good morning. It looks like the storm is over. I see some blue skies. Man, it was the craziest storm last night. I'll tell you about it after I get my coffee. But, uh, wow. I think the uh, rocking and all that stuff actually helped me sleep better. It was like, just rocked me to sleep. Yeehaw. It's day 22. And, uh, I survived. <laughs> Let's get out there and enjoy the day. Trout doing smoked trout looking good. I gotta move that and get a fire going.
Whoa. There goes our nice day. So much for the blue skies. It's driving rain and yeehaw. This is nuts. Oh, well, we get a break for like two days. Now it's back to storm. Again. Oh. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that good weather. Give me a break. Give me a break. About time to break me off a piece of that good weather. So much for that. morning not really it's not a good morning but you should have just stayed in bed that's what i was gonna do yeah that's pretty nasty again eh? yeah it was all nice and blue skies and breezy for a minute and then, when and then so much for that when was that like last like night? 15 minutes ago 15 minutes ago was blue sky yeah there was blue sky and and there was oh, well It'll pass over. I leaned Hopefully over then. to blow on the fire, and all of a sudden I picked my head up and just complete uh, whiteout. Well, it'll pass over then, hopefully. Yeah, last night's did. Yeah, it was yeah that was quite the storm. Hold on to that for a sec. I want to get that gopher in there. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, looks all right. All right. I don't care if it is a little weak. I want a little, some warmth. Well, that's cool. The thing that she says she likes about me today on day 22 is your humility. Personally, I think I need more of that. I try. These notes are so special. It's so, what an amazing thing. She made me one for every day. If you guys are just tuning in, I've been showing these the most of the days that, uh, and a verse on one side and something special she says she likes it loves about me on the other side and like that's what a how awesome is that huh that's so cool 30 notes i keep them with me all day so i can look at it again later the little verse and and think of that and then switch it out for the next one each day Actually, I shouldn't say that. Like, I need more humility. It's not It's not that I'm not humble. A lot of people make it, mistake me for my exuberance and boldness for lack of humility, you know? Um, I know that everything I have and everything going on in my life is due to God and not my own ability and not my own awesomeness or something like that, that it's God that's granted me this gift of uh, 
to be able to do YouTube, to have adventures, to be creative with my hands, to build things that are awesome, to make videos that are fun, you know, things like that. And uh, I, I don't count that as as me, but uh, the gift that God gave me. Um, but people do, uh, sometimes they get comments like, uh, you're, you're too full of yourself and blah, blah, blah. And, you had your five minutes of fame a long time ago. Get over it. Stop bugging us. <laughs> and I think some people just take me wrong because I'm, I'm so excitable at times and so bold in everything that I push forward on, you know, that uh, they, they take it wrong. And I talk too much sometimes. <laughs> He's... Uh. Laughing at, laughing at that one, good. I'm laughing at that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After spending 22 days alone with me here, then uh, Greg would be an expert on how much I talk. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> So a lot of lightning last night, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. And how did you fare up there in the trees? It was windy down where I was, so what was it like up there? I, yeah, uh, I don't know what time that happened, but I woke up to like that sound of that wind coming up the valley like a I train. I know, I know, yeah. I, I was thinking like, man, if these trees blow over, and then it started like, you know, moving, it moving and everything. Yeah. And then that thunder and lightning, Better way to test out your oh, hammocking up in the tree than a thunder and lightning storm and the winds. The wind is starting to blow pretty heavy. Wiggling around a little bit, but not much. Not so bad. It's not even really raining. Of course, rain isn't my problem. My problem would be if my trees get blown over on me. Uh, you can't buy this kind of fun when you just sit at home. Uh, but we can bring it to you if you subscribe right now on Fowler's Make Me a Mischief. Thanks for watching. I hope this isn't my last video. I don't mind the the thunder, the lightning, the rain. But the wind. The wind, yeah. yeah because it, when you're up there in the trees, you just keep thinking, what if a top breaks off or something, right? Yeah. You know? or, or what if the two trees, but because I had them tied together, I felt a little more secure. But what if the two trees pulling apart just like ripped my hammock to shreds? Yeah, that could happen. And I just go down <clears throat> or something. Right, exactly. You yeah. know? They go in opposite ways and break the strings and the platform breaks. Or yeah, something. but it didn't. And nope. I bobbed around a whole bunch, but it uh, it was actually uh, after I got used to it for a little bit, uh, I felt like it kind of lulled me back to sleep because it came through for a half an hour. It was pretty strong, and mm -hmm. then I was just like, you know what, whatever. Yeah. I'm not giving up. I'm not getting down. No. And uh, I but thought well, about. Who would want to get up in the middle yeah. of the night and get down? Well, I thought about coming down here and starting the fire and being warm and just waiting it out. But yeah. And then. Um, it, the wind slowed down and the rain started more, and, and it was pretty. Yeah, it, it was windy bad. for about half an hour or so, eh? Yeah, I shined my light around. Down. I saw all the trees are swaying and stuff, and I wasn't really swinging all that bad. Yeah. You know, uh, I felt myself swinging probably a little bit. It helps that you tie the trees together. It probably yeah. stabilizes it more than just one tree. Yeah, and I felt um, I felt the pack basket. I kept swinging against it, and just like bumping it a little bit. And so at one point I reached out and I grabbed through the hammock onto the pack basket and it ma I made the pack basket kind of like slide back and forth a little bit and I was like, I, so I let go of it. And then I just 
Kind of like sailors, right? I mean, they must have had it ten times worse on a ship. Oh, I imagine. mean, imagine like a ship bobbing in the waves and your hammocks are swinging side to side. Oh, <laughs> I, when I when not I not for everybody. No, when I used to build wooden boats, I went on a trip once. Um, I every year I would go on a trip like once and do a boat delivery. And uh, if it took like two days, I'd get one night's sleep because the rest of the time I just couldn't handle all that movement. Yeah. It was so much more. And we were in bunks though. And it was just, it was just so much movement. I just, and it wasn't even choppy or anything. I just, I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. But um, that kind of lulled me to sleep. And I woke up at five and it was blowing again. And I was kind of back and forth, but I slept good. Yeah. Did your, did yours bob and bounce oh, around? Oh yeah, I was moving around. Even though I'm at the base of the trees still. Yep. So then that's what I was, was thinking. Oh, well, I wonder what it's like uh, 15 feet up where he is. It must be moving more. Yeah. I think because I tied them together, it was really, it was Not a lot less. Bad, yeah. 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 Just the sound of that wind. Oh, I know. Like, like I heard train. it coming too. Yeah. You just hear it getting louder and louder as it comes and then all of a sudden it just hits yeah it's a little spooky and i guess maybe because it came through the valley that way it, it sounded more than it was yeah because the the last time i had uh slept through a giant storm in the hammock was in canada with the wilderness living challenge and uh that trees were blowing over and breaking and falling all around us is that right? Yeah, yeah, we woke up the next day and there's a big tree laying like right next to Chris's hammock. My tree broke that I was tied to and it, uh, I had to like uh, wench it back to another tree in the night and leave uh, it like that. And yeah. So. Huh. looked over and there's a grizzly just sitting there up on the hillside on the ravine on the other side. I'll zoom in with Greg's hand. Oh yeah. There we go. See him up there? Look at how big he is. Right in the middle of the screen. Just kind of meandering around having himself a snack. That's a big one. I wish we could get further in. We need a bigger lens. Look how far he is. Finally get to see my grizzly bear. Besides that cub that we saw earlier. And uh, he's so big that we can't quite see that far with anything that we have. I mean, the binoculars maybe. Greg's checking it out right now with the binoculars. See if he can see how big he really is. You lose him? Oh no, okay, now I got him. Now I got him, oh yeah. That, that's a big bear, man. Yeah. That's a big grizzly. You wouldn't want to run into him on the trail. We're talking about hiking over there and see if, if he's just hanging out there all day, we'd get a shot, but the only thing is, We'd never know how close we are until we got there because we'd be coming up that same draw as he's in and we'd just be hiking and hiking and all of a sudden we might be like face to face with him or he'd hear us a quarter of a mile before we ever got to him stumbling and bumbling up the hill trying to get a shot at him. Get a, with, with a shot with a camera at him. To, just to bring you guys more wildlife. I just wanted to verify it's a grizzly, but you can yeah. see the hump when he moves around if you want to have a look yeah. through there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's looking right at me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's looking right at me. Probably smells our fish. Yeah, but <laughs> oh my goodness. That guy is huge. We didn't build those hammock things high enough. We didn't build our platforms high enough for this guy. <laughs> well, I better get moved up in there. Maybe this is the night he's going to show up here. He he could reach right up to the platforms easily. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Just keep staring in this direction. You see the hump on the shoulder? Oh, yeah. It's a grizzly. Dude, you gotta check him out again now that he's looking this way and stuff. Okay. I'm still recording. Oh, yeah. Oops. I don't know how you spotted that bear way up on a slide like a mile away like that. Oh, got it. Dude, eagle eye. Eagle eye. Well, I've been doing nothing but looking. It's like, that's why I wanted to... You brought me all the way out here, told me you were going to see grizzlies, and it's like... Well, we've seen two, but... Yeah. They've all been... Far uh, off, and or the, just a baby, you know? I wanted to see mom come tearing out of the bushes and... <laughs> and like... I don't. You know, and... I, and then go away, obviously. Not tear us to pieces, but... Uh, I want my Jeremiah Johnson moment. Yeah. I want a good scare. It's hard to stop looking at him, isn't it? He's just so... Well, you can see cool. the power in his shoulders. Yeah. They're just, you it's know, just his like... arms are so thick. That's a big bear, man. Like, I'm thinking seven, eight hundred pounds. Yeah. Jeez, that's a big grizzly. Here, you look. And I'll, I'll uh, get his attention, because he did. He looked over here when you whistled. Oh, yeah, he looked this time. He's looking and sniffing. Oh, uh, he might show up here, you know. Yeah, he's like, who the heck in their right mind would whistle at me? Oh, he's so good looking. Yeah. Ooh, cat calling me. I've even got it all planned out what I'm going to say to the charging bear. These are not the droids you're looking for. That's a big grizzly. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. He's huge. I'll I, I, bet you that's probably 800 pounds. If I had seen him before we started these platforms, uh, I think I would have gone another three feet higher, you know? Like, we'll be just, we're, we're just out of reach. And he's probably so big that he wouldn't want to bother to try and climb a tree and come after you. No. He just, he, he'd just come into camp and he'd just trash yeah. everything we have, take what he wanted, and waddle off. No, he wouldn't try climbing the trees. You know, but. he's too big. He'd probably, man, he'd just push over these trees. He's huge. Well, not no. with all three of them tied together. No, no. But, but he's a big bear. I mean, you know, like I've seen a lot of grizzlies. If he's ticked off and he starts pushing on these trees, the wind that was shaking me around last night would be the least of my concerns, you know? Awesome. I love the outdoors. Not that far away, maybe a kilometer, half a mile across on that slide, but it was nice to see him and you can tell from here he's a big one, so. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll show up in camp or something so we can get some close-up uh, video would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Wouldn't that be fun? That would be great. I'd, I would, that's my dream is to like lean out of my hammock with the camera from my platform and be like, Hey, leave my, leave my smoking trout alone, you little bugger, you know? Uh, and he'd be like, Ugh. And then just like eat my trout right there on camera. Like, uh, just yeah. be like... Not even a thank you. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting all kinds of beat up by the wind. And it's just wearing on us. So I'm going to build a uh, debris wall, kind of like I did for building our tool shed. A windbreak. Hopefully protect us a little bit. There we go. A little debris wall. Protect us from the winds a little bit toasting up one of our smoked fish each our fillets each so i'm gonna cook the rest of mine up the rest of the way yeah and eat it how was yours very salty very salty you're coming all you can't really eat it all at once i'm saving some because it's pretty it's salty pretty salty should have had it just in one day probably. one day of the brine oh well but hey we don't have to worry about salt intake <laughs> <laughs> Post up that skin.
Oh, yeah. The skin was good. The skin didn't seem salty. Nailed it on the skin. That's a beautiful crunchy skin. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful salty treat of trout. Wow. Wow. It's like a straight up sardine. Like. It's salty. You put sardines on a. This would taste great on pizza. Yeah, because, in little quantities. Because, like, it mixed in with the cheese and the sauce. Yes, I agree with you, but by itself, it's a little too salty. Holy salt, Batman. Yeah, no doubt. Hey buddy, Hello. you did it. I got her up. You're all set up. I'm set up, but it was a struggle because I got barely enough length Oh. everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's too short. It's not as long as yours. Uh-oh. So I tied right to the buckles basically on. Uh, I was going to suggest too that you put your tree on this side, your branch. That would have given you like four more oh, inches. Oh, right, right, right. I wasn't thinking that way. Well, I just slapped it up and in between rainstorms. So, yeah, you know, yeah. So it'll do for tonight. Wow, that was quick. You did it quick. Yeah. As well, it needs adjustment, like you say, but we'll see. I mean, I don't think it's gonna rain on me, so no. Well, okay. it's clearing up. All right, it's time to heat up the gophers and eat the gophers. It shouldn't be too bad. First sign of it we've seen today, and it's going down. I don't know. Moving up the gopher. There's the uh, backbone and stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks like the ribs just fell right off of it. Oh, it's tender. Oh. It's tender. That's good. That's mm -hmm. some good gopher. Yeah. Food. Glorious food. Food. Nothing quite like it. Well, that was definitely good, buddy. Mm-hmm. I could thank Annihilator Air Guns for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Krell Puncher that he provided. Oh, wait. Do I get to count... Um, gophers? Gophers? Oh, of course. So if I've got... Well, you're going to win that one. I've only got four. I know about can I count them as fishes? Oh, <laughs> because they're not fishmen. I know, but like <laughs> as a total of uh, a total of uh, prov food provided. That's like a different ranking right there. So we got fish. <laughs> so what do you have for fish? 36 now. 36 and I got that one yesterday. You had 30. I, I still have 30 because I was skunked yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, and I got, I got what that first day I got three gophers. Yeah. Well, you're way ahead on them because you then got four. Probably... So that's seven and then eight, eight nine. Nine, nine. So nine. So I got 39 for a total food score right now. What? So what's that? You got 36, seven. You got 40. I... Well, with the gophers. With the gophers, got you got a gophers 40. Too. He's got a 40 for a total food score right now. And what do you got? I got 39. Oh, geez. Okay, if you're counting gophers too, yeah. geez. It, for, as, a, well. as a separate food score. 
So no more drunken little characters tipping over. So they're all very stable. And I kind of need to repair this queen with a little bit of pine pitch or something because she's she's got a crack in her that half of her head supposed to, is kind of falling off. So maybe if I oh. game delay, we lost a piece. Five minutes of whittling. <laughs> Look at that. They fit in there so nicely now. No wobbling and tipping over. All tuned up. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, it's just We're out in the so woods. Exciting. We're playing chess. playing chess. I mean, like, it got coffee. It can't get much better than this. No. There we go. I am in for the night. Well, mostly. I got a little hot rock I tossed up onto my platform. It's too hot to put at the, uh, in my uh, hoorag and then stuff at the bottom of my feet. You don't want to put a hot rock into a shirt or anything if it's too hot to handle. So as soon as it's warm enough that you can handle it for five seconds, you wrap it up and you got yourself a happy rock. Oh, and it makes your feet so nice and toasty. Nothing like going to bed with warm feet. Uh, Greg won chess. So if you're wondering, it's two to one on the chess. And he's got me by one on the game for eating. And he's got me by five, right, uh, six right now on the fish. So got to work harder tomorrow. See if I can't pull ahead. There's so much I want to do. I, I'm not going to be ready to go home after 30 days. Oh, yeah, I am. I can't wait to get back to my girls. But until then, there's still plenty to be had. I still have, we still have over a week of time out here um, worth of adventures to have. And maybe part of that will be getting a closer look at that grizzly. Until then, I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out. Thank <laughs> you.